Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to level your gatherers, botanist on miner only, from 70 to 80 in Shadowbringers. Disclaimer, once Endwalker releases early access at the earliest, high quality materials will no longer be obtainable through botanist, miner, or fisher. High quality materials can be still crafted, but the base materials will be normal quality only. Any high quality materials should be reduced to lower normal quality because turn-ins will not give you extra experience points and they cannot be sold on the market board. All right. So the gear I'm wearing is the Land King set from Stormblood. This is the script set. If you do not have this, use whatever you have to get to level 71, then increase your gear to level 71 gear, which is the Bright Linen set. Make it high quality, get it off the market board. Once you have that set, you should be good for a couple levels until you have to upgrade halfway and then that set should take you to 80. Having 700 GP is probably the most efficient I can get right now, and that's all you need. 600 for the rotation that I'm showing you guys for collectibles, and then the 100 to increase your gatherer rate to make sure that you don't lose an item. You still might lose an item because that's just RNG for you. All right. So the times that we have for collectibles, which you're going to be getting quite used to, will be four to six, AM and PM, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 2 to 4. Botanist, 10 to 12, 8 to 10, 2 to 4, and 4 to 6. So I highly recommend focusing on one and then working on the other. All right. So the first items will be 4 to 6. And we have about 30 minutes of a time. So when we get to 4 o'clock PM, we will be at our first node. So while we're waiting for that, in the gatherer log, if you use the triangle button on controller, go to special and then collectibles two. And here we have all the items. The blue spirit ore is the farmable ones. The other ones are timed nodes. So the Titan copper ore will be at four o'clock, including the petalite since they're on the same node. Obviously you go with the 71 because you have a very low chance of gathering a level 75 item. So go with level 71 until you get closer to 75. The Lazarite would be 6 to 8. And then 8 to 10 would be the Sea Salt. And then the 2 to 4 would be the Reef Rock. So these ones are what you're going to be dealing with. Alright, so we need to go to the belt. Which is going to be right here. So we're going to take the Fort Job Aetherite. All right, guys, here we are in Lakeland, X31.1, Y24.1. Flying is not required, but it is easier to get around if you do. All right, so I'm not using any food. So we are going to be getting the rarefied Titan Copper Ore. Since it's only 5% away from 100%, so we can use Sharp Vision 1. So simply hit it. And then we are going to be using Scrutiny. Now these abilities here, their collectability will increase as your gathering rate goes up. So Scrutiny will buff up our collectibles. So right now you want to use, I would say Scour for right now, until we are able to get higher collectability with Meticulous. Because the more collectability we have, the higher the experience points will be gained. And then we'll use Meticulous at the end to get us solves 100, because Meticulous can proc a chance of not using a gathering attempt, which is 11% right now. All right, so now we use Sharp Vision to make it 100%, and then we're gonna gather our three. With better stats, we can get to a thousand way quicker. But right now, we're gonna get three. All right, so the next one will be at six o'clock. So if we go into our gatherer log, our next is going to be the Lazarite. And it's going to be at the Cleric area, which is 16.5, X, Y, 18.2. So take Slitherbow 
and go straight up. All right. Also, make sure you have your cordials on hand to get back your GP. All right. So I'll see you guys at six o'clock. All right, guys. Here we are at the node at six o'clock. So we have raw lazarite with 85% gathering rate. So again, we're going to go with scrutiny and then do scour. Now, if you hear that sound effect, that means that we got a buff to it, which is the intuition rate, which increases your collectability past of what you see there. So instead of getting 386, I got 478. Right, we do not need to do scrutiny because 138 from meticulous gives us a thousand thanks to that buff so let's go ahead and hit meticulous all right and now we are going to buff up our gathering rates with sharp vision three because sharp vision one i don't think we're, i think we're only increased it by 10 and then we collect our five Alright guys, so here we are in Yulmore, and I did not lock the script exchange, so we're going to do this right now. So I'll talk to Maureen here. This is beyond a crafter or a gatherer. And there you go, access to the script exchange. So if we look at what we have here, we get 2,489,800 experience points for each one. That is for the Titan Copper. And now the Lazarus will give us the same thing. Let's look at the experience points we're gaining. Look at that. So we basically gain the level just by doing those Seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that was eight. So those are going to be your go-tos for your mass of experience. Now, we do have other ways of leveling up besides that. You have your key kern, which is your gatherer beast tribe, which is in the Gortica Greatwood. You're going to have to do two sets of quests in order to unlock that which I have to make a video on. And that would be uh, three per day. And the other is going to be the crystalline mean. So we're gonna head back to the crystarium and I'll go over that next. All right guys, so here we are in the crystarium at X 10.9, Y 8.4. Just take the aether right up to the crystalline mean. You must complete Holminster Switch Dungeon and complete the main story quest after the dungeon in order to unlock the crystalline mean. I obviously have to be a crafter or gatherer to start it. And you also get some experience points. Talk to her again. Watch the cutscene if you like. And now we have access to the crystalline mean. Now, this would be shared between botanist and miner. The NPC over there would be for, or over there would be for a fisher. All right, so if you're doing collectibles on say your miner, use the crystalline mean on your botanist or vice versa, or switch it up if you like. All right, we'll get some experience points and some gill, but this is going to be like custom deliveries, basically, except with high quality materials. All right, so you have to go to the story in order to get to the delivery quest. So we're going to come up here. So just follow the steps. So 
So take the Aetherite to the Cabinet of Curiosity, go south, and then go west. Talk with her, skip the cutscene, and now we're going to go back to the Crystalline Mean. So run back to the Aetherite, and then teleport up. Alright, we're back at the Crystalline Mean, so finish the quest. And now the facet of gathering is now unlocked. Okay. So we select her again. This explains how everything works. And now we need 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 animal trace. Now you still can get these high quality, so I recommend getting 18 high quality for double the experience points. Okay, so this on botanist and or minor, it does not matter. You can even split the experience from botanist and minor if you like. And that's what I highly recommend, but if you want to get one job quicker, then put them all into one. Alright guys, here we are in Almerang. So right about here is where the node is. And then here's the animal tracing. So we have 100% gatherer rate with a 20% high quality gatherer rate because of the buff that we have. So basically just jack it up with Unearth 2 or whatever if you, if you have Unearth 3. I don't have Unearth 3 because I didn't do the quest in Stormblood by the way. But right now we have a 50% chance of getting high quality. So enable a quick gathering and let it go. This is one. And there's two. So you basically keep doing that until you get 18. So you're going to be getting a lot of experience in your journey to get high quality, but that's good. So make sure you use a manual as well. I would say go with the highest manual that we have. I think it's grade two. And also have a food buff as well for extra experience points. All right. So we do that until you get 18 high quality. All right, guys, so I am back. I got my 18 high quality. And I threw away my 59 normal quality, since you can't trade those in for gill. Now, I do recommend keeping your botanist and miner at the same level, because if you get too high on this, then your lowest job won't be able to turn those in. Alright, so make sure that you keep yourself equally leveled. So what we're going to do is switch over to botanist, who has the same gear. I believe I can turn these in as level 70. We are going to do 9, so that's about halfway. So I'm getting 4,979,596. So we're about halfway, so let's go ahead and turn the rest in. Since our botanist is a little bit low, And then we get food and revised manuals will give you up to 12 million points before it drops off. And then the esteem level increases, just like custom deliveries. So the next one will not be until level 73. So our botanist didn't get a level, but once we do our collectibles for that, we should have a good 71 to almost 72. So, like I said, make sure your botanist and miner are equal level. So I will see you guys when I hit level 73. Alright guys, so we're back. We're now level 73. So our next crystalline mean quest allows us to gather 18 animal droppings. Yes, I'm not kidding. We have to pick up crap. All right. So both my botanist and my miner are almost level 74. So I'm going to be splitting this up between the two. All right, so my botanist is 74.
And so is my miner. All right, so I just finished my custom deliveries for my botanist and my miner. The desynthesis challenge log does not work with uh, gatherers, surprisingly. And I just did collectibles until I got to level 73. So now that we're level 74, we still cannot get the other two items on this list for the nodes just yet. So we're going to go back to the 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 10 to 12, and 8 to 10. Except this time, instead of doing the level 71, we are able to get the level 75 items since we're one level below. This will make the experience points for collectibles much higher. The other thing that you guys can do is left quests. So, from the crystal I mean, go directly over here. Simply talk to the Hrothgar here, and you'll unlock the love quests. So you basically will take the highest experience points love quest and go with that. So I'll stay with these two. Alright. This will give you a crap ton of experience, plus all the experience that you get from gathering the items during the left quest. And if you do uh, fast enough, or if you have the evaluation left quests, you get bonus and experience points. Okay? So make sure that you unlock your left quests and do this until level 75. Alright guys, I'm back. I am now level 75. Now, because my Grand Company turn-ins were not resetted during the video earlier, I couldn't do them. So luckily for me, they are now. So I have a star for minor, which gives us triple when you do high quality turn-ins. And botanist has normal, so this is going to be double. Because high quality is still viable until Endwalker, we can pass in high quality materials. If you're doing this casually over a week, make sure you do them every single day. With me, I only need to do it once because I'm going to be bursting through to 80 from 75 really quickly. So let's pass these in, and we should hit level uh, 76. Alright, we're almost to level 77 just by that alone. And now let's pass in Botanist. So there we go. My Botanist did not get a level, which is fine. So we got 11 million for botanist and 19 million for miner. So my botanist, oh look at that, it's almost there. But that's okay. Eventually I will get there with collectibles. Alright guys, so our next node won't be until 8 o'clock for miner. And this is going to be the next item on the collectibles list. So as we get to level 75, level 76, this will be not too difficult to get. But as being a level 76, you should have no problem getting the level 77 items. Alright, so the next one will be the Sea Salt and the Tempest at 8 o'clock. So it's going to be right about here. So X 25.0, Y 4.6. Alright guys, so here we are at the node. As you see here, we have the level 77 and the level 80. Obviously, level 77 is what you want because it has 89% gatherer rate. Well, this one has 64, so this most likely will be missing a lot, even with the buff. So, we go Scrutiny. Scour. And as you can see here, 294 won't give you 100%, so go back with Scour, all three. And then we collect our three. Simple and easy. Look at that. So after you get to level 76 or 77, we can do the next crystalline mean, which takes place at level 76 anyway. And you're going to be getting the Mega Fauna. Which is going to be right here at level 75. Make sure you get 18 high quality and then pass these into the crystalline mean. So I'm going to do this next 
So I'll see you guys when I get my 18 high quality. All right guys, so I am back. I just collected my 18 mega fauna leftovers for botanist. They're right here. And as for miner, they're right over there. All right. So now I'm going to pass these in on my botanist since it's a little bit behind. All right, so my miner is now behind, so let's pass the rest in. All right. So after those turns are done, you have another quest, which I'm gonna do in that off camera. And then at level 78, you're gonna be gathering Mega Fauna Trace. So if Miner's here, and then Botanist will be up here. So make sure you gather 18 high quality of these next. After that, it's just a quick beeline to 80 by just doing the collectibles that I have showed you guys so far. And then you should be done with leveling your gatherer from 70 to 80. Alright, so I'm going to do this off camera, and I'll come back at around level 80, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next. All right, so what you guys just saw was me passing in all the collectibles that I gathered off camera. Now we're both level 80 on Botanist and Miner. So your next step is to get the Folklore books. So come to the Script Exchange NPC, gather a Script Exchange, level 70 items, come to the bottom here, and you need 40 of these tokens, 4,000 for each book. Come to the Splendor's Vendor here, and then pass in the tokens for your book. Your next thing is to get either white script gear or get the 490 crafted set. Both is viable to get yourself to level 90 and end walker. Now that is how you level your gatherers from 70 to 80 in Shadowbringers in preparation for end walker. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This is where you guys never miss an upload. And follow me on my social media at ZaneLiner on Twitter and Facebook. If you want to join my Discord, the link will be in the About section down below, or hit the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available if you guys want to support me further. Just hit the Join button to see what I have to offer. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.